Hey, very welcome to the Salvation Show podcast. Don't forget, we are on YouTube and you can subscribe to our page as well. We love taking lots of people in around the town, bands and different businesses and all that. But I've got a gentleman sitting here beside me, a well-known man around Dundalk, and it is Maxi Michael. Come on to town. Come on to town. <laughs> a well-known Manchester United supporter. Don't know about that, that now. It's not your fault. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, a Dundalk supporter. Maxi, tell me about you. Where do I start, Paddy? Uh, yeah, I love the football, you know. Uh, first game in Oriel Park. Was, I think it was five years of age. Uh from O'Hanlon Park, as you're looking in your O'Hanlon Park, you could see the lights, you know, from the yeah, field. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden, I could hear all this roaring and shouting. And and the closer I went through the field of O'Hanlon Park, I ended up underneath the Wee China Bridge. Next of all, I'm standing in the shed of Oriel Park. There's a search party out for me. Torchy Travers brought me home. <laughs> I was grounded for a week, but it was worth it, you know. It was worth every bit. But, but, but since then, you've been an avid supporter of Dundalk. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 for, Dundalk Football Club has been, from my own experience, has been very good, you know. Mm. Uh, very good to the family. As you know, Paddy, we had a lot of tragedies and stuff like that. And yeah, the club yeah. has always been really... They are what they say, a community club, you know, yeah. behind the scenes, very supportive and stuff like that. So, uh, always had that really good link with the club, you know. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's uh, something so, to look forward on a Friday night. So, but, but I remember now going back, I remember heading up to uh, Dilly Mount Park and Astarski and Hutch Cardigan and all that, and the whole lot of us, and there was the fantastic Dundalk, Tommy McConville. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The whole lot of them, you know, and Lala. Greedish, the whole lot, but it was just unbelievable. And then uh, all of a sudden, it came again, Stephen Kenny. But now, mm. give me your uh, feelings on now. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's like I suppose it's like any club, but there's that there's a, it's there's a transition period, you know, like the, the Richie Towles and 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 Dave McMillans and players like that. They don't they don't hang about for too long, you know. Yeah. And as you know, Paddy, uh, football's a short career. And uh, I think the biggest shock at the time was, and, and good luck to him, uh, uh, was Stephen Kenny leaving that time. That wasn't part yeah. of the plan from the people that took over then, you know. So, uh, yeah. So there was a lot of uncertainty around the club around that time. And I suppose COVID and everything, and it was mad times, you know. So... It's uh, it's tough, it's tough, tough at the minute, you know. And they're trying to do the right thing up there, you know. I can, yeah. I can see that. Like, you Peter Halpin up there, he's a good guy. He was there before, and you know, there's there's a lot of good people up there trying to do the right thing, you know. Yeah. And I get that, like you know. But it's a, it's a, it's it's an on the field thing, you know. It's what happens on yeah. the field that dictates a lot of stuff, you know. It does, yeah. And there is a lot of what goes behind the scenes, like you know, yeah. but the people don't see. Yeah. But uh, apart from the football, we got. Everyone knows Maxi, Maxi's taxis a whole lot. Yeah. And they've seen your uh, talent shows in a lot of <laughs> well-known people in it. But uh, what, what about yourself? Uh, have you any favourite music? Like, what would be your favourite? I, 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 I like all music, Paddy, you know. Uh, I remember, what was the name of the place? It was down in Cambrasa Street. He used to sell... Uh, uh, Tapes, you know, you used to get All these. Right. You know the wee uh, the thing there, Walkman, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> well, remember that, what, that was music tape, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, yeah, it was shop there at the corner. It's a shoe shop now. Uh, oh well, yeah, it was a music tape. Was yeah, yeah. Man, uh, Ronan Sora, and all. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I was I mean, like my first job was in the Isle of France with Alex and Bruno, great people, you mm-hmm. know. And uh, I was saving up for this uh, Walkman, you know. <laughs> And I got to, saved up for the walk, man. It was great because you, you know yourself, Paddy. You can go into shops, you can throw fiver off something every week. And oh, yeah, yeah. No hassle, and it was great. And I got to walk, man. And I remember the first uh, I, the, the first two cassettes I bought, one was UB40. No. And the other one was uh, Pavarotti. That and is, man, I couldn't believe this. That like, is he was like, it's like. <laughs> yeah. The, the the two different musics like they were yeah. the first two two uh, cassettes I bought yeah, and the reason why I bought the Pavarotti thing was because uh, 
I wanted to learn how to speak Italian, you know. Oh. <laughs> That's what I say as well. If I can learn, if I know the song in English and they're singing it in Italian, yeah. I could match the words together. That's, that's, oh, that, crazy. that's a good sign because usually there is tips there to learn you how to speak Italian. Yeah, so that's 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 how I was doing it, you know. Uh, the, only, the only in Alvaro Italian, the only Italian I know is uh, Bon Natale, mm. which means Merry Christmas because Nat King Cole sings a song called Bon Natale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually worked with Alvaro's dad, uh, Lord Rastam, great man, you know. I worked with him in the in the Paris Cafe. He 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 was like the manager, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But he was never the manager. Like they always so, sat in the corner. He was a hundred percent. I remember coming in one time. It was out to be partying all night. You know the usual crack. <laughs> I think the dog was out to winning, and then yeah, we ended. So uh, I was doing the work the next day at uh, ten o'clock, and I fell in the door, you know. And Alvaro down the back and do a few spuds, you know. And I never heard of these things in my life, buddy. Uh, espresso. Yeah. Didn't yeah. even know what to wear. Didn't even. I hadn't a clue. I'm down the back. I was delighted. I says, right, I'm down here. I'm peeling spuds. I'm out of the way. I didn't want to be standing over fryers, you know, head hanging off me like. <laughs> and Alfaro comes down and he gives me this uh, wee espresso. Like, I ain't going, what's this here? Drink that. It's good for you, you know. Took a, took a drink of it. And uh, I was a new man. <laughs> yeah, Not brilliant. a bottle. Oh, he was brilliant. He it's, it's, was yeah, brilliant. Hey. It's a very Anybody else would have sent you home, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, oh, I would have sent you. Ah, he was yeah, brilliant. There was uh, espresso. I think it's a very strong. Kick, yeah, it's a like wee small. Coffee, it's a yeah. small, uh, a small yeah. coffee. But they they say it's a they say it's a natural red bull. You know. Oh, will you quit? <laughs> you know. So now, but without going in too much to it, but uh, I'm sure people will be saying, "Why did you not ask him?" But we go back to football. The FAI offices. Yeah, I now, haven't really. Uh, I haven't really spoken about this, Paddy. No, you, you know? haven't. No, I think we can jump past it if you want. Ah, look, you know, uh, but you was well, like being a dedicated Dundalk support. I'm sure you were traumatized when they were dropped. The whole, the whole town was, Paddy. Yeah, everybody was saying the same thing. Like, like, I'll give you an example. I suppose, like at the time, the club was struggling very much. Uh, to, uh, yourself, Paddy, played a massive part in Save Old Club. Now we were you know, there, yeah. Uh, yeah, helping the club out. Uh, you know, and against all odds, you're trying to keep the thing taken over. Uh, you get yourself into a, a playoff situation. You travel the whole way down to Waterford. I remember we'd done the commentary on it. Yeah, and you have people spending all the money to go on that trip. Uh, unheard of in, the, in, in, in football worldwide. We play Waterford United, who are the bottom team, yeah. and automatically in any league in the world, the bottom team gets relegated, yeah. and you play you play the second last team for promotion. But we uh, the way they had it structured was that we played the bottom team, and uh, I don't think they give Dundalk a chance, but Dundalk won. Mm. So then the whole thing was changed again, and we didn't get promoted. Uh, Galway got promoted and they finished out. Didn't and have to play a playoff or nothing. And did you find out why it was changed? Ah, uh, there was some sort of like I don't know. There were uh, change in the league, structure of the league, and stuff like that. And uh, I, I don't know, Paddy. It's it. How do you make sense out of something that doesn't make sense? Yeah. So yeah. that's why I don't really. I I, I can never. Get me head around Never that. Grasp it, yeah. But, but I remember it because Lord rest him, uh, Neil Ross. Neil was doing a commentary from it and we go straight to him and he was talking and he's screaming down the phone when Dundalk won and this is it, we're back. Yeah. And then I met him the next day and he says, this is wrong. He says, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was, a, it was, a, uh, it was a, a difficult period in my life personally, you know, I ended up in prison like, Oh yeah, and, but uh, I never thought it would come to that, but it did. But but your intention wasn't to do what happened. No, well, first and foremost, there was no there was no intent to cause any problems to anybody. I made that clear from the outset. Yeah, I remember talking to the guard at the window was doing the negotiations. I'll never forget him. Isn't I remember his number one six one B like. 
a really nice guy. Yeah. He told around, he says, listen, I, I have to step down here to bring it in the negotiator guy. He says, no, listen, I don't want to talk to anybody. I said, how do you sound fella like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a, uh, it was a, uh, it was a difficult time. It was a difficult time, but it's, as I say, it's gone now. Yeah. We're, but now we're, we're at a stage the Dark FC are the bottom of the league. Yeah, but look, you know, it's, uh, I always said this uh, uh, from, you're not heading up to Dublin again, no? No, definitely not, no. <laughs> well, I think Stephen Kenny, uh, there was a couple of visitors up in uh, mm-hmm. the FEA, the new place, and the doors are key coded, you know, and Stephen Kenny had somebody up from Dundalk. I remember your guy telling me, he says, just some set up here. He says, yeah, Maxie got them doors put in. He says, you have to have a, you have to have a code to get in, you know? But look, you know, uh, yeah. look, uh, uh, the... Every but 99.9% of the people in the FEA are 100% are there for the right reasons. I know that. I know a lot of people. Mm-hmm. I remember speaking to a person a couple of weeks after the incident in the FEA and met him and draw and we had a chat and, you know, really, really good people wanting to do the right things, you know, and uh, there was, look, I'm not, uh, there's, yeah, a, such, there's a thing going on there at the minute with uh, John Delaney and stuff like that and uh, It'll pan out as it pans it'll out. Pan, you know? It'll come to the fore, as they yeah. say. Uh, tell me about your school, Liz. Did you enjoy school? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's Move, it. Moving on. You didn't? No. I, no. I, I, I enjoyed Friday because uh, on Friday you, you you didn't get any homework and stuff like that. You went to the athletics, you know? Yeah. Uh, and you were an athletic person, you can see well, that. anything to get away from the homework <laughs> party, you know, yourself. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you used to... Look, Hindsight, looking back, uh, you know you can't go back. Your school was a tough time. It was a tough time, you know. Uh, yeah. They were tougher. <laughs> the, the show where, like, there was corporal punishment, you know. Yeah, it was uh, it was, it was tough times in school, yeah. Oh, it was. I, I left school young enough, so thank God I was. Uh, I, I got a great opportunity with, as I said, I worked with, uh, my first job was with, uh, with Alex Nardone and, and Bruno and Francois, amazing mm, people. Like, yeah, you know, you know, it, was, it was great to walk into something like that. Yeah, we were just, I was, Bruno was, uh, Bruno's a great guy, you know, great character. Uh, he was posting up stuff the other day about the father and he's, uh, and we started talking about things. That, like, I remember I got a security job in the, in the Isle of France. I was only like 14, like head of security. <laughs> like, I, and Bruno says to me, I want you to stand at that door. And across the road from the Isle of France was the was the bakery, you know. Yeah. And there's these Pacific buns, right? When you bite into them, just the flakes fly everywhere, and there's yeah. carpet. It should take an hour to clean it, you know. <laughs> Nobody gets in that door. He says with flaky buns. So I'm checking everybody. <laughs> Listen, what type of buns have you got there? Like it was, oh, it was somebody. You know, you had to eat them in the hall. You know, in the, in the hall. Right? Someone come up. Uh, I don't want your idea. The flaky buns. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> but you great know, times, you know, s- silly things like that. But going back to the uh, Maxi's taxis, a lot of talent passed through that. You don't do it anymore. No, Paddy. Uh, no, it's uh, it run its course, you know. I've been uh, asked numerous occasions to uh, do things and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was some, it was some journey. That what a lot of people didn't know, Paddy. I used to get a lot of private messages, you know. Yeah. I remember I got a message from a guy in Alma. I've never met the guy. I never had the opportunity to meet him, but I, I was in contact with him. And. Uh, his mother, Lord Rasta, she was sent home. She wasn't well, sent home for her last bit of time mm-hmm. or whatever. And she was getting up every morning and she was saying, put on Maxi's taxi and we see who was in the taxi. Oh, incredible. And he was sending me, he was telling me, he says, my mum gets up in the morning. The first thing she's asking, who's in Maxi's taxi? And he says, and she was smiling. See, that's that to it. me, Paddy, was like I nearly stopped it. Because, but as mad as this may sound, I yeah. got a lot of abuse as well. It was crazy. I couldn't understand some crazy messages from people. And that outweighed everything. Oh, I, was at, I, was at a point, I was at a point where I was going to sort of stop it back then. And when I got that message from the guy and he was telling me about his mum and she's smiling and everything, I said, okay, we go. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. But, you know, like it... It's same as radio. You don't know who's watching, who's listening. Like there's you know. e- even for even from yourself, Paddy. You know, from the outside looking in. Like, yeah, yeah. I know the impact you have on my mother. Like, oh yeah. I'd be yeah. sitting in the house, and you know yourself, he'd only lost her dad recently, and yeah. all that and all, and be sitting in the house, and the mother. Be, it's it's amazing 
to see my mother sitting at the table, very simple woman, you know, a cup of tea, and and next of all, you'd give a, a shout out to the father, or you'd mention yes. a song or whatever, and it just lifts. Yeah, it's, it does, it, yeah. It, it, and again, it's going back to when we had the conversation about Dundalk. Never under, underestimate the power of encouragement. Oh, 100%. You know? 100%. You know, it, it, it does help people. Like we were always told in training, when you're training on radio, that the, there's people out there, there's, there could be thousands listening to you, but every one of them think, yeah, he's with me here today. Yeah. You know, and it's, you know, it's it's good to know that. And it's great to be able to to portray this sort of thing to people out there. But uh, what makes you happy? I do voluntary care on my party every day. Oh, do you? Yeah. Uh, and, and what does that entail? I pick up this well-aged gentleman every day, seven days a week. I don't get, uh, it's not a monetary thing, you know. No. Uh, that makes me happy now, you know. Yeah. I done the taxing, don't get me wrong. It was great. I met some incredible people. <laughs> Had a few runners. Good crack. Uh, but uh, I do this voluntary care every day, seven days a week. As when I finish here, I'll be heading to himself. Mm. And I enjoy that, you know. And, and voluntary care, is it take them to the hospital and that? Or? I, I take them out for uh, something to eat every day. And then we go for a spin wherever he wants to go. He's 87. Yeah, I always yeah. ask him. Wouldn't take that away from him, you know, yeah. the, to, to be able to still make his, make a choice, you know. And uh, some days we go to Carnford, wherever he wants to go. Some day we go to Newry. Some days we go up the clock ahead when the weather's good. And he goes for soup, sandwiches. Uh, then we go for coffee sometimes. Yeah. And a bun, uh, different places. And I get him home then for about five o'clock and around his carers come down to get him ready for bed and stuff Isn't like that. Isn't that incredible? Like, no one would know that. No, you I know. don't. Uh, I, I, not, no, nobody really knows that. No, no but it, like, I thought you were doing it when I didn't see you about in the taxis that I thought you were taking a break from taxiing. Yeah. But it's, you're still walking, you know. Yeah, well, I I just, I always, I always, uh, I always wanted to do something like that, Paddy, you know. Mm. Uh, and it's very hard to put into words. I, it's, I, I, I really enjoy it, you know. Well, that's the, and you get great feeling out of it. Yeah, it's well. it's it's and the stories and like I know we talk about school and stuff like that. And look, don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking school. It was just the way it was then. I'll knock it if you want. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> uh, the stuff that uh, that I've learned from this man over the time I've been with him, you wouldn't learn in any college. No, the but th that's what they say streetwise. You know, you, you learn more talking to people than you, you would. Now, education is a very important thing for, yeah. for kids nowadays. And, but to us, you know, it's when someone says something and then you listen. The empathy comes in, you know, and you're talking away to them. And then you want to find out about something when you ask them then to talk more about that yeah. subject. You yeah, know, yeah. I think it's I love listening to people. Well, in the 80s and 90s of how it went, you know, years ago when when we had nothing, yeah. you know, and we still have most of it left. But, <laughs> you know, like when the simple little things like you have kids nowadays, all they sit is with all you see is their thumbs moving. Mm. We were around at Ice House Hill, where they used to call it the Trump. Yeah, jumping off the cave. That was jumping the, off the cave. Was, I think that was the that was the first uh, trampoline yeah. in the history of the world. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be praying that the council would be coming around to cut the grass. You'd gather all the grass up. You'd put it at the bottom That's of the right, cave. Yeah. Yeah. Somersaults off it. See, now it'd be big health and safety. The place yeah. be sealed off. Like, but not only that, they used to say that the, uh, on the Trump there was a, a bit of cement, but there was an opening on it. And they said that it was a tunnel from Holland's Castle till there. Yeah. Now, we try to get in now. Nowadays, he's joking. You'd be, get out, health and safety. Yeah, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. We've been in them tunnels a few times ourselves as kids. So we grew up in Hanlon Park and so, oh, some crack, some some crack, I'll tell you. We used to, remember, do you remember, Paddy, years ago when there would be roadworks, the council used to put the barrels with the, with yeah. the paraffin light on the top and yeah. they'd, they'd use the uh, like wire the, the, the ceiling yeah so we'd have the paraffin light up in the cave and <laughs> <laughs> keeping you warm oh come here <laughs> but I remember uh, your late dad the, the Maxi himself yeah yeah I remember he was over the schemes and we were on that clump 
cleaning it up, yeah. you know, trying to get it ready. And then all of a sudden, they came in and made ice house, which is fabulous. It's yeah, a fabulous it was, uh, there was some, there was some great, great times in O'Hanlon Park. I remember the father was always involved in something, or it was football or committees, and I remember there was a there was a football match, and all the girls like unheard of, like yeah, all the, the the wives and girls playing football and against each other, and isn't it? Yeah, it was great. It was incredible, incredible and I, times. I was actually born, bred, and buzzed across from your dad. Snickers in the avenue, avenue yeah. yeah. And I remember your father getting the car. I can still see it. your father was like Elvis Presley, the long locks, yeah. the tight jeans, the beetle boots, as they call them. And he drove into the street with a new car. It was an NSU car. It was bright blue. I'll never forget it because the kids we were just saying, wow, Sean McAllister has a sports car. You know, in those days. Incredible. And it was unbelievable that. The way he, you know, but your dad always looked like Elvis. He had the hair and he had the locks. He wasn't you know? a bad old singer either, Paddy. Oh, great singer, yeah. great singer. And then you get, you do a bit that yourself, don't you? Well, that's the Michael for does the singing. He's brilliant at the yeah, singing. But Sean as well, he does yeah. the singing as well. I just listen, get in the car and sing away there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there is. Well, it, it's taken all, and your mum was a great singer. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and the Lord rest your auntie. Madeline. Madeline, yeah. Our famous song, The House of the Rising House Sun. House of the Rising Sun, oh, right. Oh, Jesus. She's great. another character, yeah. Another character, which is great. I remember she came in and when I said, you see, The House of the Rising Sun, when you're learning it, it's an A minor. It's a very, very, I couldn't even sing it in that key. And I said to, I remember Madeline when I, when I started, I said, this song is an A minor. It'll do. Mm -hmm. And she went away. Yeah. And hit that note. Brilliant. Jesus Christ. If I hit it, I'd be a dirtle set at the moment. <laughs> we, were we were actually talking a couple of weeks ago, you know. Mm -hmm. She made the best roast buds in Ireland. Oh. And the tray, Paddy, yeah. it'd be black. Right? I mean, the tray would be black. They'd grease me in it for about two years. See the roast buds? Unbelievable. Oh, <laughs> I'm not joking you. Would you use the goose, oh, the goose grease? For me, oh, you talk talk about, uh, what does it say, uh, uh, like using something over, over and over again like yeah yeah well that grease was used for a long time and it oh we were having a crack about that the other day she you was, know uh, oh, it was, that's the way and years ago she said it was it was put on the bread yeah you know dripping that was great and then they always used to say to us the kids nowadays have an awful lot of pimples are you surprised <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we were eating fat she but was it was mad. keeping us warm yeah quite, and uh, quite times so Apart from the football and all, what is the future for Maxi? Just take every day as it comes, Paddy, you know. Uh, I haven't really said much about this. I'm out there writing the book as well, you know. So That's what I wanted to talk to you about as well. So you've started off. What is the book about? It's a self-help book, Paddy. And uh, what does that entail? Like? Uh, if it helps one person, it's a success. It's a success. Mm. I've been in a few storms, you know. Uh, Do you want to talk about the storms? No, not really. No, well, then we leave that. But as they say, storms pass, you know, but I've been in a few storms and... and I always remember Harry Taff, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Harry Taff was a massive part of Dundalk survival today. Yeah. I know the stuff he done behind the scenes, you know? Is remarkable and never in the history of the world was there such thing as a live stream of a game it didn't exist it didn't happen yeah yeah uh harry live streamed the game out of oriel park over to america it's never ever been done he was no, the first incredible. person ever yeah. do it if harry had a patent that he'd have been a, a multi-millionaire but harry wasn't that type of person yeah he just wanted to do it like. he just wanted to do it and i remember i met him in the van and he'd uh just looking at all the cables here with this talking to Chris there about the setup here it's incredible yeah. remarkable and again you have to try this and try that and this that you know Harry was uh, I remember he, he jumped into the van with him one day and there was wires everywhere in the van I said Harry what's going on <laughs> he says I'm ah, going to stream live a game out of our Oriel Park live to America he goes Harry yeah, dead on and he done it you know so there was a bit of that in my mind as well in this book you know and uh, it's a self help book Paddy you know uh, so it's it's nearly there, you know. It's yeah. Well, it was. It's like it. It's it's a person that went through it, writing the book, mm. and hopefully that it will help other people. Yeah. 
Did uh, in the book? Did you find ways of dealing with it? Yeah, but the book is uh, the book. Paddy is is like it's tools, you know. Mm. Like you, the the question is, I suppose, what do we do? Or people who have uh, family members or friends that's in that situation. Mm. There's there's always a sense of uh, I don't know what to do here. What do we do? Yeah, that's yeah. Well, well, who do we turn to? What do yeah. we say? What do we do? Whereas the book is uh, like a step by step of of tools in the book to help people. It, you it's know? like it, well, it's advice and what to do. Yeah, well, I wouldn't even say advice, mm. Paddy, because uh, to say uh, I, I no, it's I don't know why I don't know what sort of words I'm looking for. It's just like it's tools, you know. It's mm. it's like giving people a di- direction, you know, of. Uh, if you're feeling a certain way, yeah, yeah, try this or try that, you know. And yeah, but as you say to people sitting there, saying, "What do I do?" Or even family members, "What can I do?" Or even the person that's actually in the storm yeah. as well, they're also in the frame of mind of, uh, well, "What do I do here?" Like, yeah. how do we get out of this? But I think your only problem now is is cost. There's a lot of cost in it. Well. Uh, yeah. I, I have a good faith Paddy it'll get there you know oh yeah but that's the main thing but if if there's anyone listening now a donation would be greatly received I'm sure uh, well we'll see how it goes you know mm. uh, there's there's I, I've been speaking to a few people recently about well, that, it you know that's good and uh, I suppose you see all these buzzwords around the place. And again, I'm not pointing mm. fingers with me words. We're just having a gentle conversation. Yeah, yeah. I think it's vitally important that, you know. Mm. Uh, I don't want to be in a situation where I'm pointing fingers with my words. Yeah, yeah. But there is a lot of good people out there who would have the capacity to... Uh, do things you know yeah you hear a lot of these buzzwords and stuff like that and uh, I'm a great believer actions speak louder than words but words are important as well when they're the oh, right yeah. words so it's an early day out I'll knock on a few doors and I do believe uh, as long as you keep knocking the doors one will open Paddy yeah. you know and uh, I'd love to see this book out there freely available uh, it's not a mo- it's not a monetary thing you know yeah freely yeah. available to Help people, and if it helps one person, Paddy, to me that's, that's a success. Say, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. is it um? Well, it's a paperback. Yeah, well, at the minute it's just scraps of paper. You know, mm. uh, I wrote it all by hand, Paddy. Yeah, and uh, spellings are all over the place. I said I left school at a young age, and some of the words are like I get hard to read them myself. Yeah. It's just in the flow, you know, <laughs> and. Uh, my daughter's helped me with the book. She's yeah. typing it. You know, I'm not into. I don't. It's not that I'm not into. I don't know how to do it, Paddy. And I yeah, admit yeah. that. You know, sometimes you, you, you're afraid to admit you don't. You can't do something. Oh, you you don't know how to do this and that. You know. So uh, I'm getting a bit of help with it, and uh, it's uh, the inspiration from the title of the book came from a song. You know, I was uh, I was walking down Cambrassa Street one day, and I was just kept saying, to myself, "Give me the name of the book. Give me the name of the book." It was just grinding my head like. And I walked into uh, walked into the vape store, Martin Muffy and and Oni. Great guys, you know. Yeah, yeah. Doors always open for a cup of tea. It's yeah. amazing. They're amazing guys down oh, there, yeah. you know. And uh, actually, well, what's the crack? The cake, cup of tea's on, and and I remember when I walked into the shop, there was a song on the on the on the, on the television, and it dawned on me. It says, "There you go. That's the name of the song, name of the book." Turn your magic on. Coldplay, Adventure of Life. Turn your magic on. So yeah. the title of the book is Turn Your Magic On. Because there's magic in everybody, you know? And that's the that's very it, first yeah. word in the book. <laughs> and I highlight it. It's really big, you know? It's a very, very powerful word. It's not said it enough. Is, yeah. It's, it's congratulations. A, yeah. When I thought when you heard the song, I thought you were going to put it. Because what was going through my mind was uh, the Dr. Hook song, Storms Never Last. You know, it's, it's another, you know, it's another thing. But to say there is something the other side of it. Yeah, well, that's, know. that's as I said, I was, I was writing the book at the time and uh, I found a load of scraps of paper in the house. 
A4 sheets of paper. It was a bundle of them. I don't know what they were for. They were just sitting there. And they were blank, Paddy. Yeah. And I says, this is going to be a book. No shorter, no longer. The amount of sheets of paper. Yeah. And I can still tell you now, I don't know many sheets of paper there is. I didn't count them. There's no numbers on them. Just kept writing, kept writing, kept writing. And uh, one of the difficulties I had in school, Paddy, was a pen. I hadn't got a pen. Mm. You get killed over not having a pen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was mad, right? I'd be driving the taxi, right? <laughs> and I always had this thing with people. Yeah. Well, what do you do for a living? Some people be going, what are you asking? Like, you know? Yeah. But it's just a general chat and a conversation. Well, yeah, who's yeah. things? What do you do for a living? And I've got all sorts of taxis, honest to God. But a high percentage of people in the taxi would be teachers. I go, yeah. lovely. I pick up somebody going to National Pen. And it's a patron system. You didn't get money. You get paid with pens. Pen, oh, right? yeah. Because <laughs> half the pens we thrown in the bin because there was a misprint on the pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'd be yeah. a letter wrong or something. Yeah. And they'd give me bags of pens. I'd be delighted. <laughs> but I had a plan with these pens, right? I says, every time I get a teacher in the car, well, tell him the story about me getting killed over and I have the pens. I'm going to give them a bag of pens. <laughs> if there's any child in the class, there's no pens. Give them a pen. Well, there you are. <laughs> That's how that whole thing worked. I love Brilliant. that. Pay, yeah. pay back to him. Yeah, and I was just telling the story, you know, yeah. and the whole thing about the pens, you know. And I remember I had a, I had a, a teacher in the car one time. She was going to... Uh, I always remember, oh, she was, it was a remarkable. She was going up, up to Dunleo. And she says, well, you wouldn't believe what I do. I goes, what do you do? She says, I bring in conflicts, conflicts, read the books and rice krispies for the kids. There you go. She says, I buy them myself and I make sure the kids has a breakfast in the, in the classroom every day. I, she says, this is great. It's you not know, incredible, isn't it's it? It's just, so that was the crack with the book, Paddy. And uh, I went through a lot of pens and uh, my dad, Lord, rest him. I was in the house one day, I was getting, I, I had no pens, I wanted out of pens, yeah. bookies, pens, all <laughs> pens. I have a jar full of pens and they're all empty because they're writing, you know? Yeah. And uh, I remember in the house one day and I said uh, to the mother, the mother's great, the mothers have everything in the post pad, in oh, the, the so bag, you know yourself. And, and, the, kids, and the kids it's in, the, it's, in, it's in the bag. <laughs> but I remember I says, Mom, if you a pen, and my dad was sitting there and he handed me the pen, Paddy. This is a true story. Yeah. Honest to God. The pen my dad gave me, right? There was a light on the top of it. He yeah. pushed this thing and the light yeah, come yeah. on, you know? Mm. And I'm going, okay. And I was writing the book and got it finished, coming to the last, to the end of it. And I was using the pen my dad gave me. And you would actually see it on the natural raw paper. Yeah. Because I kept all that. You just about can see the words near the end. The actually pens run out when I got to the end of the book, and that was the pen my dad gave me. It's incredible, isn't wow. it? It's a true. It's true. It's incredible. Here, yeah. Honest it's incredible. to God. And it, it, if I was to take in the papers now of the, the actual natural writing of the book, yeah. you'd actually see where the last words are faded out faded. as the pen was running out, and isn't that was the pen my dad gave me. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, that was to finish it. Yeah, you know, was, get uh, it done. Yeah, so the, look, I, I suppose when you're at school and you leave school, Paddy, and and you do these things, and you sort of think you're you're not good enough, you know. No. You, you, that's but that's but that's, you see, that's so, the yeah, conditioning, but, you know, on yeah. society. If you yeah. don't do your leaving or you don't do this, then you're and again, I, I say, as I said, just having a conversation, not pointing words. You, see, you believe that, Paddy. You, you start do. to think, well, okay, I'm I'm not good enough. Yeah. And then that's ingrained in you, ingrained in you, ingrained in you. And then even when I was doing this book, like, it, like it's a massive challenge. Oh, you know? it is. But from what you was talking about at school, so I remember like leaving school. I won't even mention the teacher. Mm. But I remember we finished at 14 then, you know, when you were away to work in shoe factories or something. And I remember him shouting, McEnany, you'll never be yet. It was a wild guess, I think. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know what? Like, uh, I, I'd say to a lot of people, I suppose, that's uh, listen, listening, if somebody says to you that you can't be something, you can either let it deflate you or let it motivate you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you, that can be, like, I suppose, a catalyst to, 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 to say, you yeah. know what? We'll see. Yeah, you can you can flip that and say, okay, 
you know so and that's why i i i enjoy doing the the, the music videos party and, and yeah. stuff like that because the amount of uh the, you can if, if one child or somebody picks up a guitar and or writes a song or whatever then that's that's what's all about that's you know the motivation you know that's uh that's that was the thing with the with the videos and stuff like that and and as i said that that lady lord raster and making her smile yeah as i said around that time and it's all andrew's birthday today lord that's Raston, right, yeah, and it was that. around that time that was had to happen with andrew andrew was a great guy he was you know yourself paddy he was heavily yeah. involved he was involved in everything hey there was the arts committees uh, uh, uh gaelic, gaelic lot, just soccer horses and everything, and yeah <laughs> i remember at his wake you know it was uh it was incredible like you know, it wakes and wakes, and he's laid out in the house. And I remember looking at my mother, and I says, uh, "Where is he?" Mm. So, there was that much stuff on his coffin, you know. Yeah. Between, like some jockey guy turned up with the, his gear that he wore on the it's horses and whips, it? and yeah, it was nuts. It was yeah. it was incredible. Darts and football jerseys and Gaelic jerseys and everything and medals and all that type mm. of stuff and. You know, but, but it was a great feeling to know that he had an impact on other people. Yeah, you know? he was. Uh, it's it's great that. Yeah, and uh, and it being his birthday today, you know, so yeah. it would have been uh, there would have been a few pints of hop today somewhere. Oh, you know, yeah, will you quit? <laughs> and and a sing song as well. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so uh, apart from the book, what is the future for Maxi? Are you just going? To, are you going to go into voluntary work? Well, I I I. I <laughs> I don't even call it work party. I, 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 I'm just going with the flow with this uh, gentleman, you know. He's, uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, and another thing, uh, I, I, look, it, it is what it is. I think we all sort of, I'd be guilty this myself. Mm. I think we all get caught up in uh, chasing money or chasing whatever. Yeah. And again, don't get me wrong, money's a tool that's important. You know, you need money for... Going to shop. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but it... Uh, I spent a lot of time with my mother. I spent a lot of time yeah. with my dad. Uh, in fact, I didn't. I didn't really attend Oriel Park much that time. I was watching a lot of games down the house with yeah, my dad. Yeah. Uh, so, if I was the, the future going forward, uh, I just spend as much time with, with, with the family, oh, with, yeah. especially with my mom and dad, and it's quality time, you know. It and is. It is. Yeah. I just take every day as it comes, Paddy. Yeah. You know. Uh, that's that's where I'm at at the moment. Yeah. Like, but when do, do you think the book will be out? No, or have you got a set date on it coming out? No, uh, I, it's mad. It, it, like, uh, the book is designed to alleviate pressure. Mm. Uh, so I have never once put any pressure around the book. Yeah, uh, because that takes the whole ethos away from the book. Mm -hmm. So look, different people have said to me, you have to do this, you have to do that. Don't no. have to. <laughs> no. I, 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 it'll, be, it'll be ready when, when, it's, when ready. it's ready. And yeah. I'm a great believer in uh, time and stuff like that. And, yeah. and But there's a, there's been a lot done. Like I see the book finished, Paddy. Yeah. I see it done. I, I have a whole vision in my head of it even... They say you should never judge a book by the cover, but getting all the cover is an important part of the book. Uh, I was walking up the town uh, last year, and I remember stopped outside a pub, and there was actually a sign in the window of the pub. And I stopped, and I looked at the sign. It was incredible. Mm. And I'm actually going to put that sign on the front cover of the book because they say you should never judge a book by its cover, but it is the cover of the book. Oh, yeah. You know, and then everything else after that you know you know we're going to tell you what the sign is <laughs> free beer yeah you just have to say it now uh, if you're looking for a sign this is it there you go oh that's I just like says that. it you know incredible There's a couple of other uh, a couple of other things in the book as well but it's important to say this Paddy it's not just me it's a collaboration of uh, talking to Talking to people, people yeah. like yourselves. Yeah. I was just saying to Chris there, what you're doing here. Uh, it, 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 there's somebody sitting in the house somewhere and they're sitting watching this and it's lifting their spirits. Oh, of course. And uh, 
that's as I said I haven't done something like this for a long time and I commend yourself for what you're doing I watched a few of them and they're a great crack and <laughs> only can be I, that's what it's all about Paddy yeah, you know, it look, but you're getting a lot of different sides there's a funny side and there's people that just want to get it out there like I, I'm hoping that we will be at the launch of your book we would yeah. definitely love that yeah look I, as I said it's it's a uh, I got a phone call the other day from uh, an international book company. Oh. And uh, they were on the phone to me the other day about things. So I'm having a conversation with different people. But Paddy, I don't know if this, uh, if this uh, it's just the way I am. Uh, mm. I'd like to keep it local, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm a great believer. In, uh, I remember even when we done the, uh, when they done the video that time and where, with David, a remarkable talent as well. And OTE was ringing us, and that's no problem. And all these people ringing us. And I remember saying, no, no, no. He says, no, we're going to Dundalk FM. Yeah. Like, because because yeah. that's where we're yeah. from, you know? That's, yeah. yeah. And I remember we were in the Dundalk FM and done the interview, and then we went wherever after that. But the, the, I suppose the dream, the goal, the vision, Paddy, is to is to launch the book out of Dundalk. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'd like to see, as I said, going back to what we were talking about, about actions speak louder than words. I'm having conversations with really, really like-minded people in the Loud Leadership Partnership Court. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even down in there, Foss, a great girl down there as well. And hopefully we can put this together and make it freely available. As I said, Paddy, it's not a monetary thing with me. It's not. That's what it's... my mother says. Uh, if you... If you've been, if you've bag of spuds in the house and a tray of eggs, you're a millionaire. That's oh, the way I live my life, you know. Yeah, you I know? know that's it's true. But listen, Maxi, we want to thank you for coming in. Well, I really and appreciate the invite. Best thank of you. luck with the book, and hopefully you will let us know more about it, and we can get down to your lunch and we go live from your lunch. Absolutely, and thanks for and Chris, thanks and, very much for your time as well. And thanks the, for best, coming in. the best of luck that everything you do uh, in the future. And I think there's only one last thing to say, and that's. Come on to town. Come on to town. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Is that okay, lads? Yeah. yeah.